Levertine ETFs are really popular, especially with the retail crowd. And inside the Miguel Get Note was a really good data point. I don't think anybody really talks about, which is why I love him so much, because it's not, it's just not sexy. It's super important. So I want to show you this too. So here's a screenshot. If you look at this, it's basically at all time highs. It's just ripped higher for total assets under management. Now, the way levered ETFs work is they have to rebalance daily. So they're always rebalancing themselves across the board. So Miguel Get says it's basically synthetic net negative gamma. And for those who don't know what negative gamma is, it's just basically easiest way to put it is from a dealer's perspective, at least is when the market goes down, they're selling, adding fuel to the fire. When the market goes up, they're buying, adding fuel to the rally. Same thing happens in these levered ETFs. They have to, to maintain the correct exposure, right? The market's up, they buy more, market's down, they sell into weakness. And right now, the AUMs, asset center management, are at record highs at the 99 and a half percentile for how much that they have. So this is, again, back to what we talked about basically for three months at nauseum, this mechanical bid in the markets. This is also a part of that. First, we had CTAs, then we mm -hmm. had vol control funds. We also have this levered ETF thing. But what this does is it creates air pockets, right? Air pockets in the market, which is what he's saying, what everyone's been saying. Yes, we have this bid. But once the bid gives up, this synthetic and negative gamma, you have the short gamma on the downside that I think dealers are now positioned with as well, where the unwind could just be violent, right? I think people are still chasing it from what we've seen so far, obviously. But at some point with all of this going in, this air pocket, it should rip us fast down to the downside in some capacity is what everyone's suggesting.